welcome. We got Dylan here in the shop today. Dylan is, this is maybe your fourth time here? Fifth time? Probably. I don't know. Fifth, fourth. Sixth. Yeah. He's making his very first guitar um, against my advice, which I said, <laughs> just buy some two by fours and make a Telecaster because your first one's never great. <laughs> but I like that Dylan's super ambitious and wants to make like one of those Pinstagram, tick, <laughs> tick book, whatever, whatever all these kids are making is. Um, now, Dylan, I think of you as a drummer. Yep. In fact, my contact on my phone says Dylan Drummer, because <laughs> you're just a flipping incredible drummer. All the live sessions I've done, some of my best favorite ones have been with Dylan on drums because he's dynamic, he's killer grooves. Dude, you're just, and what are you doing? You're building it. Oh, you know what it is. He's one of those guys that just grabs an instrument and rocks it, right? Like I'm over there struggling to learn one instrument, <laughs> and he just picks up stuff and plays it. He walks on stage, hits the microphone, slays the place. <laughs> dating a singer i mean come on he's, he's winning at life right he's totally crushing life so anyway he's built his first guitar and he's and he's invested it, i mean he's young it's got to be half his life savings at this point in wood <laughs> and let's see what he's making here so you've got what are you making so we're building a seven string guitar uh, seven string i struggle with six <laughs> And uh, body is made out of mahogany. Nice. And we got the neck made out of black walnut. Let's see your first body glue up joint there. Did it come out any good? It turned out really good. Where is it? You can't see I mean, it. I can't see it. Let's look at the end. That's the tilt. Dang. It's right there. That's so good. <laughs> okay, so he's off. He's 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 saving his money so far. <laughs> he's got a good glue up. And then we got a neck made out of black walnut on the sides, uh, flame maple on the inside, and purple heart uh, for the inside of that. Yeah, and my tools are never going to recover from cutting that purple heart. <laughs> Holy crap. What's that? Oh, he's then, got a fretboard over here. And then here we got a uh, Albany fretboard. Look at that thing. Uh, Ebony fretboard, sorry. Holy cow. That thing's sweet. Yeah, and we got a super doll Stuart McDonald saw. <laughs> and I think what it took you an hour to saw. <laughs> not, not even full. Not even a quarter <laughs> of the way through those frets. What do we got going on over here? We got some we super got cool. Some, what's all this? This cool is stuff? Uh, black walnut. Same yeah. kind of black walnut we use black on the Black walnut's neck. nice. I love that stuff. We got some more maple, some more flame maple. You know how when you go to buy a house and people bake cookies and stuff to sell you your house, to make their house sound <laughs> a bit like, if it were me, all you have to do is sand some black walnut in there and I'll be like, yeah, I'll buy it. Like, I'll take it. It smells so good when you cut it and sand it. Like, it's yeah. so good. Yeah. Um, look at this maple. So we got hold still there. Let's see if this will focus on it. Wow. Super beautiful. Yeah. You think? <laughs> Jeez. We got this and then we got... Don't screw this up, Dylan. <laughs> and then we got What's this a, a eucalyptus uh, burl. Whew. That looks fragile too. It's very fragile. That's going to need some epoxy fill and some... Are we using that on this guitar? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Part of the trouble we've had with building Dylan guitar is he doesn't really know what he wants yet. <laughs> we've gone from six strings to eight strings to seven <laughs> strings to I don't even know how many strings. We, um, it's all pointy and angry on the headstock. Look at this headstock <laughs> thing he's got going. Where's your printout of that? What are you drawing all this, these plans in? What so software? Uh, what's it called? Uh, called Shaper. Shaper. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm just a basic old AutoCAD guy. I, I don't know. It's basically AutoCAD. It is? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So this thing's going to come out cool. So yeah. I was thinking um, before I turned on the camera, Dylan's probably the seventh person who's been over here building some guitars. And so thanks for the walkthrough, Dylan. That's super cool. I hope his guitar comes out as good as all of this wood is. <laughs> I think it will. So far yeah. we've done really, really well. Like all the glue ups have gone well. The neck yep. glue up has gone good. Headstock glue up's gone good. He's making some ears right now for the headstock because his plan is bigger than the headstock that we have now. I think it's gonna come out great. Like yeah. we just gotta watch him. <laughs> Make sure. That was super cool of Dylan to do that. It got me thinking about other people that have come through here and built guitars with me. Actually, I really enjoy it when somebody who wants to build their first guitar and learn comes by and builds. It's really fun for me to just work with them, pass on what I've figured out. We'll call it learned. I don't know. I, I mean, this is all self-taught stuff for me. Um, one of the very early, early people in 92's history is uh, my friend named Michael. It's who you see playing here on the yellow Telecaster. In fact, 
that, that's the first guitar I ever built. And if that's the first guitar I ever built, then that means Michael probably worked on it too. Uh, the girl in the red there playing the acoustic guitar, that's Shirley. She also has a 92 guitar, a uh, super cool guitar. It's a tulip shaped, uh, covered in material and then lacquered over. Pretty cool neck. The headstock looks like a tulip. Uh, I really like that. Anyway, uh, Michael was there with me from the very beginning. We were just a couple of guys, didn't know nothing. We were musicians playing together all the time but we didn't know anything about building or repairing guitars and we just started. We picked up a log on the side of the highway when we were coming home from South Lake Tahoe after playing music up there for a weekend and I cut that log up with a chainsaw. It was a disaster but it worked. I sealed up the ends and stuck it in my attic and let it cure and dry and um, we built a couple of guitars out of that log, Michael and I did. And then he built a few cool guitars too. Uh, I think he still plays one of them that he built. Um, he found a guitar own or something and we repaired that. I mean, we just did anything and we didn't know nothing. I think I had a jigsaw and maybe a drill and I mean, I didn't have anything for building a guitar, but somehow we got it done and we figured it out. And each time we got a new tool, we were super excited. Um, we even had a little article. This was going to be our big breakthrough. This is a long time ago. I don't remember when, but we had a little article in the paper, uh, like a small college, community college paper or something. I think they called us Guitar Heroes. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I used to be on forums and I would just, you know, take pictures, take pictures, document, document, upload pictures, you know, organize them on a, on a thread in a forum and then type words after every picture. Like I just got tired of that process. So I thought, ah, right, let's give it a try with the video, see how what we think of that. Let's see, after Michael, we had um, Riley. Now, Riley was really fun because Riley was a high school student, and he came in to build a guitar for his senior project, which I thought was awesome. His parents were super supportive. They'd drop him off here, pick him up. Actually, he'd walk over here after school, and then his parents would come pick him up every day. Uh, that was neat. I mean, we literally worked almost every day, every evening on it. Um, it was a lot of fun just having a kid. Like, always scary when you hand somebody like that a router for their first time. You know, just he was new to tools and he, all of it, and he loved it. And his guitar was, it was okay. <laughs> it wasn't great. I, went, I doubt he even still plays it. Riley was an incredible guitar player. In fact, um, we started dragging Riley around with us everywhere we played and fun kid. One of our bass player drummers, he came by and built his uh, bass. Um, pretty cool Jaguar themed thing. Uh, I, I really like that bass. I think it's it's one of my favorite shapes. I, I think it just looks amazing and I like the headstock on it. Uh, a friend of mine on the forum designed the headstock for me. Um, love that. I like that thing a lot. It's not um, balanced very well, like, uh, and I think that's what um, Steve complains about the most about on it is, I don't remember if it's neck heavy or the back of it's too heavy. I, I think it must be neck heavy because I think it needs a longer horn or something. Anyway, I don't care. It looks cool, so I would play it in, just like that. It doesn't bother me. Um, the most recent one besides Dylan, who you just saw, was Enrique. I mean, he built everything on this guitar. Like, I just was oversight. He did, he did all the work. And I'm telling you, the guitar's beautiful. Like, it just glistens in the in the lights, you know, on stage. It looks amazing on stage. He did a great job on it. Um, I think I helped him get that burst finish on there. Uh, he was struggling with that a little bit, but he did get to spray some clear coats and some of the color coats and uh, he did a fantastic job. I mean, the guitar is amazing. It took us, I, I don't remember how long it took us, probably more than a year because, you know, he he's a family man, busy. Um, and so our schedules didn't always work out for him to come over and work on it. But it, I mean, great guitar, super fun, really got to know Enrique well, which I enjoyed. Um, anyway, love having people come by here, build guitars with me. I think it's way more fun having somebody in here. It, it monopolizes a ton of my time and I get very little done, but I don't care because it's super fun. And I, I mean, I don't, how many, I don't know how many luthiers are out there, but it's awesome anytime anybody wants to do it and get interested in it because we could use more of them. Um, we need more, you know, the creativity and the stuff that goes on with everybody on the forums, on YouTube and all that. It, it's just fun to watch and it's fun to be a part of. And uh, that's a little bit of 92's backstory. Not very much of it, but that's a little bit of it. Thanks. Thanks for watching.